Understanding Border Violations in Context Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and relevant phrase, border violations. This term is not just important in terms of language, but also in understanding global news and politics. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what border violations mean and how to use this term effectively in your conversations. Border violations refer to actions that disrespect or disregard the boundaries set by a country, organization, or individual. These can be physical, like unauthorized crossing of a country's borders, or metaphorical, such as overstepping personal boundaries in relationships. It's crucial to understand the context to determine the exact meaning. In international relations, border violations are often seen as serious offenses and can lead to diplomatic disputes or conflicts. To understand this phrase better, let's look at some examples. International context. If one country's military or civilians enter another country's territory without permission, it's a border violation. This is often seen in news related to territorial disputes. Personal space. In a non-physical context, if someone ignores your personal limits or privacy, it can be considered a border violation. This usage is more metaphorical but equally important in daily interactions. Let's put this phrase into use. 1. The news reported a border violation by the neighboring country's troops. 2. I felt a border violation when he went through my personal emails without asking. Notice how the context changes the meaning slightly but retains the core idea of crossing a boundary. I hope this video has shed light on the meaning and usage of border violations. Remember, understanding such phrases not only enhances your language skills but also your awareness of global issues. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to use border violations in your conversations when appropriate. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.